Hey guys, Jason. And today I want to talk about HTTP. Well, what exactly is HTTP? It stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. And essentially what it does is when you open up your web browser, be that Firefox, Chrome, or Internet Explorer, your computer uses this programming language, this codex called HTTP, to communicate with web servers, which is how you get on a news site, it's how you get on anything really online. Well, the problem with HTTP is that it's subjected to what we call a man in the middle attack. So let's assume I'm in a coffee shop and I'm sitting there on my laptop and I'm just typing away on my Facebook. Well here's a problem. Which with HTTP alone, another person in that coffee shop, maybe across from me or maybe across you know in our part of the room, has the ability on their computer to get on and see everything I do. They can see the passwords I type in, they can see what I type into Facebook and so they create this vulnerability. And not only that, but including if say I'm here, I'm on my computer, I'm at my house, everything at my house is secure. Well, between me and the web server, it goes through a lot of routers. I personally have Time Warner Internet, so my internet goes through Time Warner, and then through Time Warner, it connects to a backbone, and that backbone connects to another backbone that goes through three or four more hops before it gets to the usually web servers that I access. Anywhere along that line, someone could access my information. It's basically open plain text. Pretty scary, isn't it? Well, HTTPS, standing for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, was implemented to create an encryption-based standard to ensure your data is not viewable to others, or to prevent men of middle attacks. Well, that's all great and dandy. I, I might, let me show you what it looks like, just so you can kind of recollect how this works. We're going to move over to the computer. Okay guys, so here I am. Now we're on the, the computer, and do you see up here, I'm on the Google's homepage, uh, we got the nice little animation right here, but do you see how it says HTTPS, and it's in green, it has a little lock? Well if you press on that lock, it says View Site cert Certification, and it says Identity Verified. This means that not only does someone between me and Google's web servers not know what's going on, they can't pretend to be Google. See, in a minute in the middle attack, it's possible for a user or mal malicious intent for someone to pretend like they're Google to get your information. Not very good. So HTTPS encrypts the data at your computer and keeps it encrypted until it gets to the web server. So that guy in the coffee shop can't get your information. And that guy sitting at Time Warner, he can't either. The only people that, have the, that can see what you're typing are you and the web server all the way at Google. But the problem with HTTPS is it's not necessarily always enacted right. Sometimes the certifications aren't up to date. Sometimes people that code the websites don't code them right. And so it creates a lot of errors. So if you use a website like Facebook or Google, you're usually secure. But there's a thing that the electronic foundation, electronic, <laughs> sorry, it's a foundation that basically, electronic frontier foundation. I messed it up. But they're, they really push all boundaries. They try to keep privacy the same as it is in the physical sense on paper, it is in the digital realm. And they're, they're very big advocates of this. They created a program called HTTPS Everywhere. Now, not all web servers have the ability to use HTTPS, but those who do, there's two different types of those. The first set are ones like Google or Facebook that have a team of web security officers and people and programmers is what I mean. And they work on making sure that you're secure. So that when I press that button and it said identity, identity verified, we're all good. But if you're shopping at a home shop in your local town online, or you know more middle of the range, not always viewed website, well, the programmer might not have got everything right. So what HTTPS Everywhere does attempts to fix that. It first of all makes sure that every connection that's possible that can achieve HTTPS does so. And secondly, what it does is make sure those who have a limited form of HTTPS enabled on their web server it makes sure that those get pushed. So, and sometimes they'll have an HTTPS certification, which you can achieve that. That's kind of complex, but what you can do is you can get the certification to verify you are who you are, and then it lies on your server, more or less. But the problem is, it's not everybody who has these certificates run them on all their domains. And so, HTTPS everywhere, in a broad sense of ways, attempts to make those connections and encrypt your data as much as possible. 
it's something I recommend to everybody. And most people are in computer science and people I go to school with, we all use HTTPS everywhere to ensure ourselves when we're using wireless at school or even in the local coffee shops. So now I'm going to get onto the computer. I'm going to show you how to get it. Very simple. It's The stable condition is out for Firefox, but I'm going to be using it for Chrome because that's my de facto web browser. So let's get to it. Okay, guys, we're back on the web browser. And here's what I want you to do. I'm going to go to the Google search bar, or any search bar, type in HTTPS everywhere. There we go. Now, the first one should be EFF.org, Electronic Frontier Foundation, Defending Your Rights in the Digital World. Now, what's really nice is it will actually recognize. You see, it says all four options. It says Opera, um, Firefox, for Android, Firefox, and Chrome. So what you can do is, it, the one on top is it de facto puts what web browser you, you're using. So I'm using Chrome. Now I actually have this already, but I uninstalled it so I can show you how to do this. Literally all you have to do is press install in Chrome. Yeah, it'll take a second. It's, it's loading. And then it'll pop up and it'll say add to Chrome. It, because it's what we call a browser extension. So we want to click add. And we're going to wait on it. It's loading right now. And then over here, it'll say HTTPS Everywhere has been added to Chrome. Now, this is really cool. If you look over here, now to show you that it's installed first, I'm going to go to this little panel here and settings. Now, you don't have to do this, of course, but this is just to show that it's installed. We go to extensions, and there it is. Encrypt the web, automatically use HTTPS security on many sites. Well, there we go. Now, you might say, well, Jason, what's this new blue dot over here? For instance, let's go to Google. Now, you're saying, Jason, there's this little blue icon. Well, that's HTTPS everywhere. You click on that, and it gives you all the information. It shows you what sites to use it for. And you see how it says force encryption connection to these websites? What it's doing is it's enforcing the connection. It's making sure that, if possible, it's going to use HTTPS over HTTP. So it seems so simple, right? HTTPS everywhere. Secure encrypted web browsing. But it's something simple that anyone can do. I mean, you saw two clicks, and I had it, to ensure your privacy, to protect your safety. Because, let's be honest, credit card fraud is up r rapidly. There was a report out here recently that 46% of Americans in their lifetime will have credit card threat. If you're sitting at that coffee shop or Starbucks, and you type in your debit card or credit card information to buy something off a website, and you don't have HTTPS up in the corner of your web browser, some person sitting in that room or somewhere down the line sitting at Time Warner could read your information and get your credit card info. Let's prevent that and let's make the web a safer place by downloading HTTPS everywhere. Thanks for watching and have a great day.